Hi, I'm Julie Bradshaw Drury and I'm here to talk a little bit about my exhibition which is happening here at 34 High Street City Hall um, and it's a multimedia centre but downstairs is this beautiful gallery that we're running to help artists exhibit in City Hall. Um, my work is uh, an eclectic mix really at the moment um, I just decided to show some of the, the work that I work with, some of the things that I'm interested in, in this particular exhibition. Um, for instance, the Tower of London, I did a residency there a couple of years ago, and um, then I produced some artwork from that. So this, there's a painting here of the Tower of London, and um, that was an amazing experience. Um, and then we move on, I've got my, more my fantasy work, which is undersea, water world, and, um, but with hidden messages. Um, because a lot of, you know, we look at the sea, we love the sea, um, but what's happening underneath? What's happening to all the rubbish that's being chucked in the sea? So a lot of my underwater work, work has um, hidden messages. So there'll be hints of bottles and tires and, you know, canisters and things that are damaging. Um, the undersea world um, so it's sort of but it's not in your face so that, that's that, that's a, a fantasy artwork really um, then obviously we go on further down I have Canterbury Cathedral I was very um, lucky to be uh, invited to do um, a, a weekend residency um, while opening up parts of the uh, Canterbury Cathedral and uh, from that I did a painting which was auctioned which, which was an auctioned off as part of a fundraising event and this is a piece, another piece that I did, um, just based in and around, being around the cathedral and, and the, you know, the beautiful building that it is. So that, that's a piece of um, my building work. Um, then we move on to more of the fantasy artwork, which is sort of more um, ghostly. And um, that, that sort of um, still encompassing about the environment. And there's, there's, there's hints of, of things that are happening in our environment. And, and then we move on to the horses, which is another love of mine. Um, particularly love horses that are wild and strong and free. So some of my work is either about sea horses, as in what we see on the crests of waves. So that involves the movement and the power. Um, but then we have other horses that are galloping and frolicking and, and all that what horses do, the power that horses have, the magic that horses have. I try to encapsulate that in my paintings. Um, then we move on to more of the sea work that I do, which involves, which looks at the power of the sea, um, the hidden depths, the hidden mystery, the hidden danger that that encapsulates. I hope I capture that essence within my paintings. Um, some are, have boats in, some don't, don't so it, it depends. And then I move on to um, a map reading type work that I've worked with and um, um, which was supposed to be in an exhibition but got cancelled due to Covid but I decided to include that in this exhibition this um, year and in fact it's been accepted and it's going to go into uh, an exhibition next year so um, uh, and that's all about maps and the way people read maps and how we get to places from one place to another um, and mine obviously involves the idea of wildlife, which is something else I'm, I'm deeply um, concerned with, and the state of the planet, basically. Um, then we go on into um, the front of the gallery, which again, is, is, it's again wildlife, the sea, um, encompassing movement. A lot of my work involves the movement of things. I'm very interested in the way the birds move when they're flying, the way the horses move when they're galloping around the field and kicking and jumping and just, you know, just in general, I, I tend to go more for a, a movement rather than static. Um, and so it's, it's a, a real mixture here for this show. Um, normally you have it more focused on one particular thing, but I decided to incorporate all of my um, things that I'm very interested in, you know, I can't choose one thing. <laughs>